Okay, but I don't have my lipstick on. I don't have my lipstick on, Jay. This might not be acceptable. Welcome, everybody. <laughs> I'm so glad to have you all here. This is a VPC meeting, the Valley Photo Club of 11-24-2020. If you don't have a meeting ID and a password, then you didn't get in. <laughs> I want to take a moment tonight and repeat the message I keep uh, uh, repeating uh, every, every Zoom meeting. And uh, it's nine things that I do with my photography and I should look at the camera instead of looking down at my paper. Number one, I practice my photography. I use varied subject matter at every opportunity that I can. Number two, I know the reason I take the photos that I do. And number three, I define my subject and use composition to enhance the subject there. And there are times that I fail at this. Uh, not always does my composition make that subject the highlight of the picture, and it, it, it's a fail, but I've learned from it. Number four, not all my photos are tack sharp. And you know what? Sometimes they don't need to be, and I'm good with that. Number five, I have always been aware of the background that I see through my viewfinder. I uh, have learned recently to shoot with both eyes open. I don't know how many people are doing that. I'd like to see a raise of hands. Uh, both Thank eyes you. open really helps. Number six, I have heard of the exposure triangle. It's something to do with aperture, f-stop, and ISO. They're supposed to be used in concert to achieve a proper exposure. I don't always agree. What about shooting high key or low key? Was that a mistake the first time? I think so. And what about just being creative? Be creative. Number seven, I'm gonna strive for something that I call or refer to as Photoshop in the field. I'm gonna take better pictures by knowing how my camera works. And I'm gonna use technique in the field so that when I come home, those settings that I applied to the shoot are gonna require less post-production. Number eight, I wanna learn during my calling process. When I come home and look at those images, I wanna look at the ones I'm rejecting. I never throw them away, I never delete them but I wanna learn from them, I wanna examine them and learn why they failed the litmus test during the cult process. And many times I go back to a photo I took four months ago that I only gave a one star rating and I'll be damned, it's not a one star. I've learned new things in Lightroom. I've learned new things in, in the simple freeware that I get that can make that a better picture or at least a background. Number nine. Most of all, I want my photos to wow people that see them. I want my photos to tell a story. I can't emphasize that enough. A photo that tells a story, that wows people. I wanna have impact and I wanna be remembered for my photos. Posting to Facebook provides nearly immediate response. I know quickly that I have a winning photo or just an average photo. There are a lot of polite people on Facebook and they'll give you a like, but when you start getting a hundred likes for a photo, it means something. When you see comments, it means something. Never before has my audience been so large and so honest. And I appreciate that. And I appreciate everyone that's here. Now so let someone in. Let's all say hi to Kaya when she comes in. She's one of our creative ones. Tonight, we're gonna have a very short slideshow. I put it together oh, yesterday. I think it runs maybe a minute and 45 seconds. And then we're gonna have 36 photos to view that were shared by some of the VPC members. And we're gonna jump into a learning session that's uh, gonna be led by our member and a sponsor. Welcome, Don Weinstein. Wave to us, Don. There will be time for a question and answer when Don is finished with his presentation. Tonight, as usual, my stand-up volunteers, Bill and Helene, are going to be our scorekeepers. I really appreciate their willingness to being there for me. It means a lot to me. And uh, we're gonna watch a slideshow now. And that slideshow, if I can do my screen share properly, will happen almost immediately. Let's see what we do here, share screen. And we're gonna share screen number two. And we're gonna say, can you see that? Do you see a blank gray screen? Yes. 
Thank you. Okay, all I needed was one yes, we're ready to go. Here's our little movie. Isn't that awesome? Awesome. Isn't that Beautiful. awesome? Truly. All right, Helene, what's yes. the title of our first image? Biker watching the sunset. Let's talk about the biker watching the sunset. Got fresh batteries in that tail light. <laughs> <laughs> I, I am uh, really speechless. I'm glad that the artist did not uh, use any Photoshop to take out that line that's above the, art, the, uh, the viewer's head there. I think the picture speaks beautifully with that present. It gives, the, uh, yeah, it, gives it a sense of place. And yes. I've always been a fan of that because a lot of people think that removing the actualities of real life makes a picture look better. But the reality is that you start losing the 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 sense of place, and uh, you know that's just the realities of where we live and how we are as a society. You said it better than I did. Wow! You want to take over the microphone? <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> okay, Jose, you got it. Okay, somebody <laughs> write that on the list. <laughs> yep. Next. The month after next, Jose, you're hired. That sounds good. <laughs> you'll notice for the new members, for the new members, you'll notice there's a timer on screen. I hope you can see it. It's at 30 some odd seconds right now. I, I don't that, see it. No. Yeah, that timer is really just a guide for us. That's all it is. Can't yeah. see it. I do not see. All right, I'm gonna move it. I'm gonna move it to the left side of the screen. And now maybe you can see it. Yep. Yes. So what we do, what we do, newcomers, what we do is we comment and praise these photos for about a full two minutes. And when the timer runs out, I'll put up a poll. And then we rate these photographs by oh, look at that. There was a turkey just now. Okay, since it's gone Everybody's down to a critter. zero, so, I just want to make a comment about the picture in itself. And you may I just want to, I just want to say that. real quick that um, Lynn, 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 one one second, hold your thought. So after the two minute timer runs out, I put up a VPC rating scale for about twenty to thirty seconds, and I'm privy to some information that you're not. Like how many of the twenty six people that are present have voted? So I sometimes wait a little bit longer, and with that, we're all set. Go ahead, Lynn. I, I was just commenting on the, not the horizon, but uh, where the sand meets the water. And it's really remarkable because they say, don't split your picture in two. But because that fence is along the front lower part of it, it doesn't feel like it's split in two. And I say kudos because 
usually it doesn't work. So it works in this case. This, this received a seven. And the next photo, and the next photo is? Catching a breeze. So the people won't be talking about the pictures at all. Why? You didn't, you didn't leave a time for it. Okay. <clears throat> wow, is this straight out of camera? Can, can that be answered? Is that? Uh, yes, this is uh, straight out of camera. I used a Sony A7 III. Uh, this is, uh, I will say, about November of 2019-ish. And well, uh, this is uh, north of Santa Barbara. Mm -hmm. The tree really pops out. Um, I, I wish they were, I, I like clouds, but in this picture, they're really not needed. I mean, the, the, the tree does its thing. Does anybody agree with me? Yes. yes, very much. Anybody disagree with me? Um, I wonder what it would look like in black and white. Have you tried it looking at it in black and white, a little more dramatic? Uh, I'm going to say at this point, yeah. Um, I'm, can you guys hear me? Yes, yes. are you fine? Okay, so at this point, um, my philosophy was that I bought a professional camera because I wanted to capture uh, the accuracy of the scene, meaning color, um, lighting, etc. And right. so I never thought about actually making the picture into a black and white. I have picture. a question for you, Jose. If if you won't yes. if you won't dis be disrespected by my going to grayscale with it for everyone to see. I think this is an excellent yeah. candidate and I have the capacity to do that. And, and I stopped doing it because someone said it wasn't right, but you know what? It's my show and I would like to see this. In <laughs> so let's All go right, grayscale go. on that. Uh, and, yeah. If you, everybody, Jose, everybody knows what it's a green tree everybody knows it's a blue sky you're capturing something and this goes back to what jay said in the beginning it's taking your photographs to a different level a wow level a more intimate level and sometimes when you see something in black and white and you make it more dramatic mm -hmm. it allows the viewer to imagine what that would what that looked like at that moment. It opens up the imagination as opposed to looking at something they see all the time. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. No, I, so I actually even the yeah, one on the I left, actually, the one on the right's a little bit too too dark, but the one on the left, you know, do you see how it becomes a shape and it becomes very interesting as as a shape? Yeah, my I personally model, my motto was to actually uh, put people in that place, right? right? As opposed to make them wonder what that place could be like. And right. that's totally part of my philosophy as to why I decided to get into that type right. of photography that captures a more detail in color and lighting. Right, no, and I understand right. that. I'm just showing you an alternative to you know looking at your images in a in a different way and, and, and sometimes okay. changing them or color or black and white just to see how they you know stimulate and, 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 no, and, and just to inter and just to interject i think if you uh, take uh, whether it's color or black and white out of the mix i just think the fact that that tree is leaning to the right is pretty awesome in and of itself right these are just thoughts. No, I agree. 
I agree. No, I, I agree with what you guys said and uh, and told me. I appreciate that. Um, I never thought about it that way because I've never been a uh, the dramatic type of person. I've always been more like, here it is, right? You know, always being lively, always been about being upbeat. And so I never thought about it that way, right? And uh, yeah. I, I'll definitely try to explore that a little bit more. And yeah, see what that, you know, that job. black and white could do for me. Jose, Jose, people here know me and they yeah. know that I was a true hater of Lightroom and Photoshop. I thought it made the photo fake. I thought it wasn't seen yeah. what I saw. I thought it was bullshit because I bought an expensive camera and it's rendering the colors the way I see them. And if they're not the way yeah. they see them, okay, I have changed my mind about that. I sometimes, when, take a photo, when taking a photograph, think in my brain, is this going to look good in black and white? Because that, uh -huh. is something, that is something that I don't know if it's the time we're in, the last, the last 10 years, the last 20 years. Black and white is yeah. very, very powerful. Yes. And oh, if not, oh and, yeah. Oh, and if yeah. not, and because our mind, primitive mind, thinks in black and white. Okay? That's right. Our... our, our our socialized mind thinks in color. That's that's the front page of, of, of some magazine. And the black and white, it, it, the brain responds differently to black and white and the shades of gray. And I think if you are a good black and white photographer, it means you're a master at color photography. Yeah. I received a seven, I yeah. I received a seven it's going to be a photo that I'm going to remember. I like the story that's been told here by the photo and we're on to the next one. That yeah, would be the moonlight. again. Thank you everybody, appreciate it. Oh, you're welcome. Mm. And right into a black and white. I, 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 I think this color one color would look camera. better in color. <laughs> <laughs> Was that? Um, Jay, Jay, you're such a kidder. Dizzy, you took the words right out of my mouth. I was going to say, let's make that in color. <laughs> it that's, is that's, for you, that's for you, Don. Right. Well, you know, I love you. Thing that you could do with this, and what we do with a lot of clients is you can go into Photoshop and RGB and you can colorize it. You can add color to this. So it's still black and white with either a lot of color to it or a little bit of color to it to enhance this. It'll they make it more interesting. You don't have to go anywhere. New Photoshop 2021 has colorized this perfectly. Very easy. They have a new AI stuff for colorizing pictures. Mm -hmm. Well, right. if um, this for me is an abstract piece and um, when it's not black and white it is definitely a big chunk of cactus right. and well, I, uh, I wouldn't colorize this this is a perfect black and white no oh, no it's right. just, not, no. just an idea when someone said you could do it in color there's right. just you could do something in black and white and add some color colorization to it if you, that's what you want you know what i mean right. it's hard fun. and, hard to fun. and hard so to what i was trying to do because in my mind these were little dancers dancing in the air. I mean, it just called me. Yet I walked up, walk by my cactus every day and I've never seen what I saw when I took this picture. Yeah, did you shoot it at night or how'd you get it so dark? Uh, Photoshop. Yeah. Well, there was a, a little program that I use with it and Jay, you and I were talking about it one day, that's the Nick program. Uh-huh, uh-huh. And their black and white program is absolutely awesome. Cool. And uh, so I still to this day am working on black and white. I And I still have problems getting all those levels in there, but this one kind of worked for me. Perfect. Try, try to play with the mid-tones when you're doing black and white. <laughs> Yes, thank you. It's luminosity in color, mid-tones in black and white. Okay. 
this poll has ended. We have a strong eight. This picture Thank you. Eight. Dia de los Muertos. Oh, beautiful. Que suerte. The color vibrancy is wonderful here. It's not, in my opinion, it's not oversaturated and it really lends itself to the festivity of the holiday. I, I am just impressed getting the picture. I mean, that's nice, really nice. Yeah, you can't even see the reflection in the mirror. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I th so is that with flash? You have flash on your camera? Uh, yeah, I did have a flash on there, Don. Who shot this? I don't have a name. Or oh, here it is, way down here. Rizzo. It's me, Tizzy. I know. <laughs> it looks just like you. That's why I knew right uh, away. It was, it was one of my better jobs. There you go. Beautiful. Yeah. Now, did you do a lot of cropping on this, Izzy, or are you right in there I, that close? No, I, I did some cropping, but I was pretty close, as were, you know, 20 other people. And I have to say it was great because uh, everybody that was uh, – dressed up and painted, uh, wanted to be photographed. So it made it very oh, easy. Nice. It was at the, uh, whatever that Hollywood cemetery or the, you know, the one right across the street from you, Don. Yes. Hollywood uh, the, the only suggestion I would make if I was going to do, um, outdoor field flashes, I would use high speed sync so that it wouldn't be, you know, it wouldn't be too bright. Uh, that's it. No, well, I was lucky that the flash even flashed, so I was I was happy. <laughs> <laughs> but thank you. Did you get many shots, Izzy, or is that just one shot? I'm sorry, what was that? Did that you get a criticism that many shots of yeah. this? Um, a few, a few. Yeah, and I I have her um, counterpart, uh, uh, a man who was just as photo graphic but i didn't think it was quite as uh colorful right right what if, oh, you, yeah. had, if you had the yeah, time I, what would you I'd do like differently? This. i'd like to see this in black and white <laughs> <laughs> it actually would look pretty good let's see it should we do that i would get rid yeah, of yeah, that uh, you know i don't take that as a criticism whatsoever i appreciate everyone's feedback it's so. black and white i don't see it oh my god i always i always don't see it I would get rid of that face on the bottom, uh, bottom left. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I, I don't know uh, Lightroom or Photoshop enough to do that. Oh, so I agree too, with you. Today. It becomes very graphic and. I would actually very... like to see more of the face myself. Cause I think that would, that would make a nice, you know, leading line with her face into that. Yeah. I mean, either way it works. Yeah. It scored an eight. We got an eight. Hey, Izzy, what would you do with it if you were to have more time? I'd send it to you to print it. Don is the best when it comes to that. I'm just going on record. There you go. Thank you. I, I, honestly, that's a great question, and I don't know. Uh, I, I was just kind what? of playing around with Light Remnant. Like I said, I don't know it well enough, so... But this goes back to what Jay said in the beginning, everything that Jay said, you know, it's like you learn from what you're doing so that the next time you go and you see something like this, you're pre more prepared to go, what would I do? I would do this. Yeah. So it's important. And, and to Jay's point too, is that this was um, a picture I came back to probably about three different times. And the more I went back to it, the more I liked it. So oh, yeah. to Jay's point, it was dead on. Izzy, I kept asking you where your submissions are, and you finally just put this entry in. Just pick whatever you could pick. He did it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just joking. No, no, no worries. Thank you, everyone. Okay. And our next picture? Folded. Again? Folded. 
a little abstraction. I just got those hot plates in hot uh, pots in the mail. Same exact color. The colors that were chosen for this image, if they were in fact chosen, they work well together. Yeah. They work really well together. I'm intrigued by what I'm seeing. I'm dragged into it. Yeah, and you know, this, this breaks a rule here because I'm attracted to the darkest spot and I shouldn't be. I should, yeah. I should go to the light and I'm not. Thank God I'm not going to the light. <laughs> right. Last night, go to the light, Caroline. No, I, I am I the only one that's drawn into the, to, the, the black hole? <laughs> <laughs> well, all the line, all the lines kind of like like take you there. Yeah. Yeah, but I, leading yeah, lines exactly. always do that. There's green that's very bright, and I'm going to the darkest spot here. I, I enjoy this picture. It's breaking yeah. the rules. Yeah. <clears throat> Jay, you're always going to the dark side. You know, it might be, uh, you know, I, I sometimes you might want to crop something and don't be afraid to crop square. Um, when it comes to certain things, you know, you guys get, hey, I shot a full frame on a, an SLR, you know what I mean? And I got to keep it that way. There's nothing stopping people from cropping things square. It's just a thought because it creates, it creates diagonals and holds everything in place. So sometimes just play with seeing different cropping. Don't be afraid to crop. It's a super interesting point that you make because I was watching a webinar the other day and somebody was talking about their cropping and they had aspect ratio locked and they were doing all their cropping before they shared their picture with us. Mm -hmm. And then someone said, no, turn off the aspect thing, crop it like this, like this. And wow, what a difference. Yeah. He, 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 his whole world opened to him. He thought he That's had right. the aspect. And you know this program here allows me to do some some cropping uh, that's interesting, and it allows like a sixteen by nine or or a specific uh, crop when it comes to uh, you know by holding the aspect or not. And that's an important thing to to realize that again. Getting back to my talking about being an artist, this received a six. Talking about my being an artist here, there, it is what it is. Um, I don't know if many of you, you know what your knowledge of history of photography, but um, there's a photographer, portrait photographer, Arnold Newman. Jason, JD, you know Arnold Newman's work at all? The name sounds familiar. I probably uh, he, he was uh, he, he photographed presidents and he photographed a lot of important people. And he was a purist at the beginning of his career in the 40s. He cropped nothing. He retouched nothing because he thought that's what it was supposed to be until he met and went to photograph uh, Piet Mondrian, the painter, and asked him, what do you think? And he said, he said, crop it, retouch it, whatever you f the final product of the truth is, that's all that matters. Here's a one by one. I didn't do anything for positioning the crop, but I just- Yeah, I'll just move it over to the right a little more, but see how more it, it becomes more interesting because your mind in a square allows your mind to like flow it out and flow it into spaces with your own imagination. I haven't been called a square since the seventies. Next photo is- <laughs> Great photo. Oh, wait a second. No, I don't want to save those changes. We can go to the next one, but that's just a thought. Are we not on the next one? Great Boca. Are we seeing it? Yes. I am. Yep. Yeah, very well, I, like, I like the depth of field. I, I, you know, I love that this eyeball is staring mm -hmm. at me. 
and uh, which is really important because I'd hardly shoot birds at all. Um, I know that my friend Helene does really well with it and I don't. So for me, when I see that eye popping out like that, that really means something for me in a photograph. Is this your, I don't have a name on this. How do I know whose picture I don't know is? who it is. We don't oh. know. Kind of supposed to be anonymous until after everyone. It's anonymous it. unless the artist wants yeah. to share. Oh, I see, but okay. I don't, I don't want you to feel that you can't. And some of us watermark all of our photos. This one I chose not to watermark, hint, hint. So, so, <laughs> so I think on this one, I would love to see more detail in the feathers. I would have backed off on the yeah. highlights a bit. So, yeah, a little more detail. Yeah, looks a little blown out. Are you say that because you know I took it? No, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Rich. No, I, 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 I'm thankful to get, uh, look, the, pic, the picture's titled appropriately, Great Boca, not great. Great picture mouth. Of, yeah, not great, great picture mouth. of an eyeball, not great picture of a beak, not great, great, great picture of a booger in the nose. It's great Boca. The Boca's awesome. No one's talking about the Boca. Well, <laughs> just because so the Boca's not your subject, your I subject know, is a bird. I know, I know. <laughs> I can't make the book out, Jay. Yeah. Can't tell what's there. Yeah, yeah. Let's, let's go straight to let's go straight to polling. Uh oh. <laughs> I would have cropped out some. Just saying. You would have what? I would have cropped off from the top, and uh, I would have cropped it more. I appreciate that. I was I was happy with the picture. It it, it made me smile. It makes me smile too. Got great detail. I just wish there were more in the neck. I, so that'd I. be awesome. So do I. God damn yeah. it. So do I. Uh, that's a seven. And when you're zoomed to 1365 and you can't hold that sucker in the frame, you're happy with getting this. So that was not mm -hmm. a Hey, Jay, did you shoot? Is this, was this raw? I, no, unfortunately. Well, yeah, I do have the raw. And if I knew how to, if I knew how to edit, I could probably make this stellar. You can yeah. bring it back. Yeah. 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 You got, if you shot this raw, there's a lot more information in there. Absolutely. I'll help you. Absolutely. I would love that because I really yeah, like this. You can put the water on the sheet. It will be even more fantastic. I really like this picture. So if I could get that, uh, did we did we score it as a seven? I, I can't score. How do you score? I don't. I don't have any way to score anything. Well, if you're not scoring, it's okay. Um, I'm sh I've shared the results with everybody. It's a seven. I'm gonna okay, stop, that's fine. I'm going to stop sharing the results and I'm going to move to the, the next, next picture. picture. Go for it. Happiness and adoration. Happiness and adoration. <sighs> oh, it's, a joy it's so enjoyable. I love this story here. And the title is so appropriate. Yeah, it's just a happy picture and great use, great use of vignetting. Nice yeah. detail. I've done something and I just have um, VPC Valley Photo Club REC in the red dot. Somebody help. How do I get back to Change the your view? Click on view and turn off speaker, go to gallery or I don't, I can't help. You can leave and come back. I can't help. I don't know. Oh, how. I see where it says view. Okay. We can see you, Lynn. Oh, thank you. You see my look of concern? Let's talk about, <laughs> let's, let's help Lynn, but let's talk about the photo. Right. I really like the, the, the way that the pink is pink and the red is red. Right. That's hard to do. The pink is a tiny, tiny bit blown out in the front. And I only use that term because someone said it about my bird's neck. Uh, I, I, I like the way that they're all, uh, the, the little boy in the background and the girl kneeling down, they're both looking at the uh, girl with the big, big smile on her face. Yeah, I like, I like that the photographer captured a moment here without being captured by the three children. They're, mm -hmm. they're very at ease with the invisible photographer. 
And, yeah. that, and that means a lot to me. <laughs> it's a very candid moment. It's, it's in the moment. It's, it's joyous, actually. It, it, their, their smiles are contagious. I really love it. Your eye goes around in a circle watching from one to the next. <laughs> there should be more on the left side. In my opinion, it could be less on the right, but there should be more on the on the left. It's kind of close to the edge. My opinion. Yeah, the edge uh, on one side, you see the edge instead of the vignette. Yeah. Yeah, I noticed that, and there's a weakness in the upper left-hand corner, too. They could just, just uh, tilt, or, you know, just lose a little bit more of her legs and go a little tighter, and I think you'd have a great vignette. And then yeah. you'd have all the kids' faces in there, too, which is what you really want to see. Yeah. An eight. You can come up from the bottom. Yeah. A little tighter, vignetted a little bit, less feet, and more about them. Happiness and adoration received an eight. It was a well-liked picture. Sir, it's see you. Uh, one second, we need to admit Fran. Let's welcome Fran into the session. Hi, Fran, how are you? Our next photo is, I know you said it, I see you. Oh, I didn't oh. see the eye. Oh. Wow. Cool. There's a moment. Yeah, nice detail, that, nice contrast. When that sucker's out front in my house, Bentley doesn't go for a walk that night. There you <laughs> go. But your camera does. <laughs> I, I took this in, when I'm in LA. I live in San Francisco. I walk my sister's dog, and there's an area in Griffith Park where these coyotes will come out maybe once a week, and I, when I bring my camera. So it was, it's, anyway, yeah. I, I always, what what were you was did you have to use a telephoto on this? Oh, yeah. What was your what was your lens? If I know Eric, he feeds them. I don't feed them. Actually, it's a sad commentary on society. There's some homeless people living in their cars, and I've seen them feeding them. I don't have to feed them. So mm -hmm. or they they and then there's a guy who goes to the trash cans and he tosses garbage to them. So yeah, but but I don't yeah. I don't you know, oh but it's it's I this I have a a, a 400 millimeter lens so. Okay, so it's a 400, yeah. It's a, a, you know, it's 80 to 400, so this is probably about... Oh, is, it, so is it a Canon? A, a Nikon. Nikon? Okay. Hugely misunderstood animal, these coyotes. They're, they're really just trying to survive. I like them, and, and but... They're beautiful. My they run them down my street coffee. every night. <laughs> Eric, what were you saying? I said my sister's dog does not like them. But well, understood, I'm, understood. And Ramon shouldn't have to like them. Ramon does not like them. He's in the car, actually. I lock him up in the car when, when they come out. They're very amazing, amazing detail. Thank you. Yeah. Did this, has this gone through post? And what program was used? Uh, you know what? It's usually they, they stay in the shadows, so it's low, the light is low. And this tele, it's, it's probably, you know, you can't. To get a depth of field where you can see the whole face, you can't, um, you still, and, and get enough light, it's a little tricky. So I probably pushed the exposure a little bit and, and post. I don't right. remember exactly, this is a few months ago. All right, beautifully done. Wow, it didn't take any time for people to vote on this. I'm gonna give it another five, six seconds here, but this is, this is a great picture uh, according to the voting here. How quickly it happened. It, it received an eight overall. Solid picture. Thank you, Eric. Next picture is Lady in Red. Lynn left and Lynn is back. I'm sorry mm -hmm. to let her back in. Let me get the clock going. Let me get Lady in Red. <laughs> Here you go. Nice use of color. It helps that the ladybug was red. There you go. It really pops out. The only thing that, that the ladybug is facing off the picture. You know, yeah. Well, he's taking through. you there. That's the way he's, he says, come fly with me. 
I, I'm sorry. I what can't airline was that? I'm not. I'm not sure about the negative space on the right. I. I yeah. I'm. I'm not sure about it. I. I don't know enough about composition and cropping. I wish somebody could comment on that. Who's very good at it? I was going to uh, say that. I think, I think the lady was on the right side, and the empty space was on the left side. It would be much better picture. I would have made it a portrait eight by ten. Yeah, it should be actually. Vertical. Actually, I made that on purpose because of the back of the on the on the ladybug, and I felt that if I put it on the other way, I was I was going to miss the uh, 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 view on the uh, on the back on the uh, a ladybug. That is the reason that I did it like that. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah, but you can crop off the negative space and then be more focused on. You yeah, know, no, no, no. But it, it it was on purpose to leave that negative space. Actually, this is for a friend. And it was a message on that neg uh, negative space. Right. Do you, have, do you have an objection, Martin? I won't do this if you. Oh no, 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 no. I don't mind. I will not. I will not do this unless you approve. Don, help me here. No, you can open it up. Open yeah. up more vertical. Vertical. <laughs> Everybody kill that turkey. But everybody's a critic. <laughs> I'm bring it, just slide it down a little bit. No, can bring in the bring in that side back back in. Okay, you go on portrait. Go all the way down. Come down. And go all the way up. And then just bring it out a little bit just to see what it's doing. And end of the flower, maybe there. There you, there. There you go. Pretty cool. If, if I can just say though, I didn't mind the the way it was at first. It's sort of a, I like the green. It's a nice green, and it's sort of like a Japanese aesthetic where everything is in dead center. You know, I kind of like that. Yeah, no, yeah. no. We're, we're, when we do this, please, everybody, please understand. When we do this sort of thing, this sort of thing is just more learning. It's just That's a right. opinion. It has nothing to do with changing what the artist felt was correct. I do not want Martin to think we just changed his picture. Because no, 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 no. I, 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 I don't believe that. Believe me, it's, it's just uh, uh, I had a message and this space, uh, empty space for, for a person. Yes, and I understand. She likes ladybugs, so that is the reason that I took it like that. And, and no, no, I don't no, take it personal. Well, I, I like that. I, I what like would be interesting is if you without put... cropping. I, I like the original picture without cropping because it makes you feel like it's just you and the ladybug, as opposed to just zooming in into the subject by itself. Right. And it. And it, it, you know, it, it, it seems a little bit more personalized that you have that big green space to the right. And I think it's proper because it, it makes you feel like there's only you and the subject looking at this picture. There's nothing else. Yeah. As opposed to when That's you crop point. it and you zoom in into it, then you're, you're losing the, you know, you're wondering what's, what, what's going on around that ladybug. You know, um, so I, I think uh, oh, I, I think it's better the way it is, um, uh, the original. I'm with Are we good? I, I stopped to share so we could look at each other. Are we good? Oh, oh OK. OK, yes. Hi. <laughs> yeah, that's the, the only reason I just want to split it up a little bit. Uh, we're getting into uh, you know the hour mark, the hour and a half mark uh, for those of us that were here to mingle. And I think it's nice for us to see each other's faces and I wanna slap anybody that's sleeping. <laughs> and, and just give us a chance to, to breathe a little bit before we go to the next one. And- uh, In, I, out. Yeah. I'm quite, I'm quite pleased with the comments that are being made. Does everyone feel the same? Yes, yes. Yes, absolutely. Yes. I'm quite pleased with the comments that have been made. So let's go back to sharing the screen. Our next photo. 
Lake Tahoe sunset. Did everyone hear that? No. Lake Tahoe sunset. Makes Thank you. Heavy. Woo. Oh, nice. Hmm. Wow. A decisive moment. I wonder who made this photo. Um, hmm. Looks like J R something. No, it looks <laughs> like it looks like another masterpiece by Leonid. Wow. I, I'm speechless. I, I'm done. I, I you know, you know what troubles me sometimes? The photos that are a little bit off get all the commentary and the length of time. I'm just gonna leave this up here for the full two minutes to to take it all in because it's just there's a lot to see here and there's nothing to see here. I know, I know, I know what you just heard, but there's a lot to see here and there's nothing to see here. This is a marvelous picture, really telling a story. So, so uh, Leonid, I, I have a question for you. Did you, um, I don't know, Photoshop in or edit the uh, no, sun reflection? No, no, I did Photoshop. I use uh, some adjustment, but it's nothing to uh, change the picture. Okay, that's great. Really great. How, how long did you have to wait for this shot? Maybe five minutes. <laughs> so you knew it was coming. I was, staying, I was trying to take sunset in the <clears throat> Lake Taha. And suddenly I saw the woman on the paddle. And I thought, it will be nice if she will go straight the light. And she went through. So I took like. 15 pictures going one by one till I came exactly on the same. I am so glad you said what you said because there's an important lesson to learn here. Leonid nailed it. He anticipated where his subject was going to go and he framed for it and that is a true photographer. Sorry, I don't mean to insult anyone, but that is the anticipation that's needed to be good at our craft when we're taking pictures like this with people in it. With I that. thought the lesson learned was perseverance for five minutes, but what do I know? <laughs> yeah. It's true, what do you know? Do you know anything? I know, but also he said he took 15 pictures kind of moving up to this and going after it to make sure that he got that one photo. Yeah. No, I love that. Too. I, I usually carry two cameras so I can shoot pictures with one while I wait for my subject to move into the <laughs> with the other one. I pay my subject to do it again. There you go. Excuse me. Illegal. Continue. Illegal. You don't have to know about it. <laughs> well, voting hey, happened very. You voting should have kept that, for, that photo for last. Two seconds here. We didn't need anybody to think about anything. 15 seconds, it scored a nine. Beautiful. A nine. Yeah. All of this can be. And I do wanna I do want to take a moment for those that don't know. My dear friend Leonid, he uh, he received uh, kudos from S4C. And uh, he was published early in our PDF file. It's nice to have a position like that. Thank you, Leonid, for being. Yeah, it was a beautiful, a beautiful picture, friend. Leonid. Yeah. Thank, Thank you, Leonid, for being such a good friend and supporting this club, and not being one of those snooty guys that can take a great photograph. You know what I mean? And 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 just be such a good part of our our, our VPC. Love you for it. Thank you. Thank you. And our next photo. Leaf hopper. Leaf hopper. Oh, beautiful. Wow. wow. Look at the detail. That is amazing. I'm betting this was a smartphone. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Where was this taken? I've never seen him look like that. That's beautiful. You know, if I can say something, if I will. If I do my picture, I will take a green leaf, copy and put on the bottom and close this dark triangle. 
I see. Yeah, what? the leaf needs to be darker. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Uh, you know, at first, at first glance, I see all the glorious color, but then I'm drawn to this area right here. And yeah, I'm troubled by that. It will be framed. If you cover this, the, this triangle on the left on the bottom, cover with the green leaf, it will be in a frame. It will be. Oh, framed. oh, oh. I see what you're saying. Cover this here? Yes. Cover. Wow. Cu cut. Cut piece of the green and the place on this, and then clean up, make it like a wider. Yeah. Leaf. So with all the, I'm, I'm sorry, with all the conversation about you know um, cropping, what have you, not what what do you think if this uh, picture was horizontal instead of uh, vertical? Well, it will be nice horizontal, <laughs> but still, this dark, macro. this dark, a macro. dark corner angle. It's uh -huh. sure. No, no, I, I, I am it's a cicada, isn't it? Cicada. No. Yeah, it might be a cicada. Can you rotate it? No. Yeah, if you rotated it. What are you asking, Izzy? You want me to rotate it? Uh, I'm just, I'm just, yeah. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Huh. That's interesting. <laughs> wow. That's a little more powerful. I was just going to say, it makes it look uh, a, a lot more uh, imposing and powerful. I yeah, like it. Like you know what? I like it the Flip way it, it does. As submitted. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, I'm, um, I'm having a hard time with the background. I, uh, the, it just seems to be foreign to what a great picture. I don't know. It doesn't seem like that background belongs there. It's fun, but I, I see what you're saying. It's fun. It's, you can, it's use just overlays. you can use some overlays and change background a little bit in different, edit some different colors or some. Mm -hmm. Black and white. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, uh, it still it still receives a seven. No, black and white doesn't help it. No, it doesn't. But it's good sometimes to look at it in different ways to confirm what you really like. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. that's a, yeah, that's a great point, Don. It does show that the green leaf is a too light. Yeah, it is too light. It, in, a, in a black and white, it shows even more. Yes, yeah. that's, that's a good point you just made. If you convert your photo momentarily to black and white, you can see where you are needing to pay a little more attention in post. Just a thought, just a thought, and I'm truly an amateur when it comes to that. Our next Milky Way Mesa, Arch, is that true? Milky Way Mesa. Ooh. Oh, nice. Nice. oh my gosh. That's gorgeous. Nice time. Yeah. Um, who, who has the uh, who has the contract with NASA? <laughs> <laughs> the year there too going on as well, right above the branch there. There's a meteor going from um, upper left to lower right. Beautiful. Very nice. I haven't seen that many stars in 30 years. Since I slapped you. That's right. <laughs> I've seen a stars. And they were like at me. You know what I mean? The stars. That <laughs> oh, ouch. I, 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 you know what I'm talking about, right? I Not don't feel. Acne, facial acne. What, what did you call that? The uh, okay. Roger Rabbit. Uh, one of the. Um, Zoom, not Zoom meetings, but one of the lectures. Uh, made comment about, the, uh, here I'm moving my arrow like you can see it. The, <laughs> the first arch there, there's a little black thing on it at, at the top and then right above it, you can see the line of possibly an airplane or something. But uh, in Photoshop, you can actually take that out so quick. It's amazing and in the night shooting, uh, um, 101 class, they suggested you do that. 
I mean, I don't find it necessary at all, but I'm just putting it out there as a thought. There actually was a plane going right through the middle of the Milky Way that I did take out. Ah, but I okay. thought this might be a shooting star or something. The, I the like it. The left, so I left it. I like it. And I'm not sure what that is above the arch, but I left it too because I, I think like it. it's actually part of the arch. So I left it. I like it. Yeah. Um, and you notice there's something else in this picture when I look at it is uh, right where the V is, is a heart of stars. Yep. Yeah, I saw that. That's very cool. Yeah, there is. There's, there's some weird, there's some crazy stuff in these, these constellations. Yeah, that's. I know. I'm really liking it. The Thank cosmic, you. it's a cosmic Rorschach test. Yes. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Really cosmic, man. Did you like paint here? How, how do you know if you passed or failed the test, though? <laughs> <laughs> yes, we did light paint just uh, ever so briefly. Okay, so there was some light painting. Good, good, good. Beautifully done. But you're the man when it comes to uh, those, those, those wonderful, what do they call it, astrophotography pictures? I haven't done that many, but thank you. Thank you. Oh, I, I, I'm impressed with what I see. You know, when you're this good, you don't need to do many. <laughs> I'm impressed well, with your patience, too, to take this. We have an eight. Actually, that was 4.30 in the morning, the first shot of the day. And I only took three shots because there's this other guy around uh, light painting with different colors. And I said, oh, yeah, forget it. OK, so, it's too crazy. And our next. How long was the exposure? Uh, I think it was 30 seconds. You really don't want to go, even at 30 seconds, you can actually start to see some star trails, you know, from the rotation of the earth, but yes. mm -hmm. um, it's not too bad in this shot. Pinkish tulips is next. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. Oh. Ooh. <laughs> okay, people, we need to pick up the pace just a little bit. I'm not rushing yeah. you. I'm just telling you that let's pay attention to the timer. I know I'm not always great good picture. At it. Let's go. Um, I feel that because um, it's just such a flat background that it doesn't. It's not popping for me the way I think it should. For me, I think I'm a fan. It looks popping enough if you are making it in a painty, a painterly style, because it looks like- I wish if the background was a little bit greenish, a little bit lighter, it will be probably a little bit better, but it's my opinion. What was this picture taken in a studio? No, um, actually I took it in my kitchen with uh, <laughs> fluorescent light. I actually, I didn't put a white border around this. I didn't realize it was gonna be back a black background. My worry, and somehow or another, the bottom got cut off here. It, the whole petal is actually in there, but it's not on my screen. It might be the it's resolution. On ours. It's it's on my screen. Screen. Oh, okay. It's, it's the resolution but, of your screen, maybe. It is on mine, absolutely. Yeah. What was my problem was that when I worked with the colors, they were a little pinker. Um, the leaves came out this weird color, the greens and the yellows, that was real distracting to me and I really wasn't sure. Linda, did that help? Uh, well, yes, oh, that's, yeah. But, but let, me, let me rest assured, everybody saw it without it cropped on the bottom. Oh, I <laughs> okay. Promise. Yes. It, it's something with your resolution because I have a computer here that's doing the same thing. I have four yeah. screens. I know what's going on. I'm trying to mimic everybody's viewpoint. And uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, I like this picture because it looks kind of paint like a painting. Yes. Uh -huh. I'm almost wondering if it's a filter that you added to make it look like his brush strokes. No, actually, you know what? They really look like that. I only changed the colors. There wasn't anything painterly at all going on. We have a six. Okay. 
And don't take that the wrong way. That's truly great. Oh, yeah, it's good. And, and that's just beating solid by one vote. That's it. You really, really were on the fence there, whoever did the voting. Uh, six, seven, it's, it's truly a six, but it was close. I think it's very impactful. We're going to start that timer and Helene will announce. Pomegranate. Ah, uh, definitely. How do you have a white cloth without any red stains? Oh my God. <laughs> it's called retouching. That's, that's a gifted offer <laughs> right there. It's a bath, a bath towel. So it went in a, in a wash. Yes, there were some spots. I reduced the size a little bit just to help everybody view it. Oh. Yeah. It almost looks like a painted still life. Yeah, it does. Yeah, especially where the little pomegranates are, you know, the seeds. Yeah, I have You can really almost take it in Photoshop further, and there's so many great um, filters. Yeah. You can almost take this further into more painterly. Mm -hmm. It would be very interesting going more painterly with it. I'll try. Yes, I'll play with it. You know, I'm amazed the towel isn't stained anywhere from the pomegranate. Yeah. <laughs> well, it could have been retouched. Yeah, it could have been, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Just take out any stains. Sorry, do just... you do you do you um, score on the on your own? Yeah. Give yourself a ten, man. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> right, Change just... the average. Huh? Go for it. <laughs> Why not? Absolutely, absolutely, you score on your own, and absolutely, you give yourself what you feel you deserve. Eleven. <laughs> I like that eleven. <laughs> Uh oh, the turkey is for me. <laughs> I have an eight, a truly solid picture here. Yeah. Wait. Leaving an eight. And uh, there was no indecision on the scoring here. This wasn't even close. It's an eight. And our next picture. Poppy filled. No, poppy filed. It says poppy filed. Oh. Someone spelled something wrong. No, it's oh. all in paste. It's all right. Oh, well, maybe not you, but someone it's else. It's all right. Poppy field. I like the luminosity in the clouds off to the right, and then it kind of balanced on the left there. I don't know if that's good or bad to have such luminosity on the left, but um, I'm saying black and white. No, I'm just kidding. I <laughs> <laughs> Try it. Seriously? No. <laughs> no. I'm not, I'm not gonna even try it. I, I like the clouds a lot and I like this patch of yellow. It, it's, it just works for me. Right over here, this is like a shadow of that cloud. It's, it's kind of interesting what's going on there, the relationship, mm -hmm. the juxtaposition. What if, what if you, you know, like, I would go into you know saturation and bring up the saturation maybe a little bit. Mm -hmm. You know, it might be a little sort of flat. Not necessarily the saturation, but brightness, contrast. No, not bright. Just just a little saturation. Saturation. Uh, you know, just to make it a little more dramatic. You see, I would go on the left. It just it looks. I would call it muted. I mean, you can go into levels and see what the levels are doing like we we would not we will if can you go into histogram on that yeah bring in the white i can't do that there oh, you can't do that on here yeah see so i can do it here give me a second we're talking levels now i think that's called adjust lighting no maybe it's not um you want me to adjust the level well, in, yeah no just to bring up the uh the whites and blacks Fourth one down. 
There you go. Yeah. There you go. Now to go up, go up to your not there, not there. Up. Yeah, no, keep that there. Go up here. What you want me to bring this up? No, just a little bit. We're talking very little. No, no, keep go all the way back to the black. The black's there. Bring up, just bring the white up for just a minute. Like this? No, that's your mids. So bring all the way to the right. Okay, let me reset. Tell me which one to do. This one? Bring well, it what you were doing before looked better when you went into saturation. We were just looking at what this is doing. Okay, so bring that stop there. Now bring the mid-tone down again. Go no. to your right. Go to the right. No, no, the other way. Yeah, you're just playing with it, trying to bring contrast up on it. Oh, that's kind of cool. Make it a little more dramatic. Mm -hmm. See, we would do some things. I'd bring up saturation. I would bring up the see all this purple down here. Uh -huh. We're just full on. I mean, just to bring up more drama to it. Mm -hmm. We, I'd go into selective color and bring out all that magenta and all that stuff. I mean, there's things we would do to it. If someone brought it to me and said, "Don, what, what, what?" What can we do to make this a more dramatic and a more interesting picture? We would do different things to it. A little more drama, a little more saturation, a little more selective color. Because you're right, the, the clouds are, are coming over the mountain range. So it's, it's also tough to shoot this kind of thing. It's very, you know, a lot of times it's, it's not a dramatic picture and you're trying to create something. But anyway, that's just some thoughts. We had, we had 21 votes. We scored 33%, seven votes, six, seven votes, seven. VPC members get the higher score. This received a seven. Thank you, Good. artist. So Next. this got this got a seven? Yes. You didn't uh, it, oh. I may have not shared it. I'm I'm losing it right now. I'm, I'm honest to you, I'm losing a little bit because I'm concerned about our time and I want to give Don all the time he needs. The next photo is? Rock the dog. Okay. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that is too cool. <laughs> okay, uh, I, I, I have a benefit because I got to see this picture. I just want to make one comment and nothing more. Time of day was critical. This is perfect time of day. Yeah. Absolutely perfect time of day. There's an eyeball and there's an ear. It's perfect time of day. Go at it, you guys. Okay. Well, I, I'd like to see um, it be a little more, I'm trying to think of on uh, Photoshop, um, near the bottom up above saturation and the other one, there's a- um, Contrast like brightness and contrast yeah maybe a little more contrast to it there's a lot there i know maybe it's too yellow maybe. it's a little too warm maybe that's what it is it just needs just a little oomph from somewhere well you know you could bring in you know You've got this rock and you got background. So if you burned in the background and the sides and the bottom a little more, it would pop out the rock more. Everything is it's 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 too it's too two-dimensional. You gotta create more of a three-dimensional. <laughs> Sorry yeah. guys. Sorry guys, I had to go there. There I know. I was thinking that, but but if you just take down the yellow and do some burning around, some vignetting around it to feature the rock would probably just make it a little more interesting, but a fun shot. I like this shot, it, make, it tells a story, it makes me happy. It's not always about the technical, I like this shot. I'm glad the photographer took it. It's texture I was talking about in Photoshop. I've shared the results. We've got a six. Yeah. No in the far east. Woo. Cool. Oh. <sighs> okay, I'm just saying, nailed it. Infrared. 
Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Excuse me, guys. I'm gonna go get a band aid. <laughs> go for Is it. This uh, a winter scene. Infrared. Yeah, it's infrared, so it changes everything. Yeah. Is, is, is that the Huntington Library? Yeah, it's beautiful. So is that, is that an infrared library? filter? I don't know if, I, I don't think it's, nobody's given it up, but I don't think that's the Huntington. Uh, yes, actually it is the Huntington Library. It is? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Cool. I love that and, place. That's kind and of a that's smart and, idea to go there with infrared, you know, and shoot there. Great yeah. angle. Yeah, and the, and most this is all done in camera. Um, whether you believe it or not, there's very little photoshopping here. Mostly just working with the lights and shadows and a little contrast. Yeah. I, I must have had like maybe four filters, three or four filters on the camera. I had a polarizer for the reflection. I had a neutral grad to preserve the highlights. And of course I have the infrared filter. So this was mostly done in camera. Were, were you were you using a tripod? Yes, absolutely, yeah. Okay. Can, can we see what it looked like in color? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> you can colorize, it would be cool. <laughs> That's a great shot, Noel. Thank you, thanks guys. Well, there's that one that one branch sticking down in the bottom. I don't know about that one. Okay. Well, well, all right, you know Jay. Me. You, Come you, on, you Jay. Know me. I put out the good and the bad. <laughs> <laughs> the mosquitoes. No, beautiful were shot. Today. Beautiful, beautiful use of of infrared. The mosquitoes were biting that day. So, so yeah. Let me ask you. Let, let me ask you a question. Using the infrared and all your filters, could you? Could, if you added more contrast, would that take away from the infrared effect or? Um, th those, those effects I add in post. Um, the okay. idea is, is to get a flat photo that you can oh. work with uh, in okay. post. But, but yeah. in post, usually I just try to keep it minimal, mostly just dodging and burning, light and shadows, contrast, you know, just, just those things. Right. Okay. See, the hardest part is the, when you're shooting with all those filters and you're shooting infrared is to get the proper exposure because yeah. the exposure in infrared really changes the way it looks. Elaine, mm -hmm. that, that's correct. Yep. Light within. Elaine, that was a nine. How long was the exposure, No, Because the clouds are a little wispy and the water is very flat. Yeah. I don't remember it off the top of my head, really. But uh, an, an infrared exposure is like a long exposure for all intents and purposes. Yeah. yeah. The light within. Oh, that's cool. Wow. That's very cool. I'm going to make it a little bit smaller for those of us not seeing everything. It looks like a Georgia O'Keeffe. Nice. I want to know how you got the batteries changed on that thing. <laughs> <laughs> now you know my my uh, humble opinion is is that uh, I forget what what video it was Jay that you and I both watched about you know taking a picture of a flower and there's a million pictures of that same flower and you know this is that one that really stands out with the backlighting or I assume that's backlighting that's just not another flower so kudos to whoever took it. Yeah, nicely done. I, I have trouble with one thing, upper left-hand corner. Yay, thank you, I wasn't gonna say it. I wasn't gonna say it either because it deserves praise, nothing but praise, but upper left-hand corner, simple fix. Yeah, it is. Simple what? I don't understand what's wrong with the upper left. There's nothing it wrong continue, with it. The petal should continue out to the border. Black area. Oh. It yeah. looks like it's like a piece of paper and it's torn the Wait, way it I is. Need, I need to emphasize there is nothing wrong with it. I think it could be better. I yes, I, I, right. we're going to change the vocabulary we use. Yes, Jay. I think the other part of the flower, the picture is so great. I didn't notice that little black thing at all. Yeah, this picture is great because I'll never have the ability to be able to uh, see this 
in real life and be able to capture that picture. That's a, that's having a great eye right there. Wow, uh, you guys couldn't wait to vote, could you? <laughs> wow, this is really nice. This received a nine, a solid nine. Wow. The sun also sets is the next picture. Horizon's perfectly straight. Love the golden at the bottom of the picture here. Yeah. Yeah, it's always hard to shoot, you know, a sunset. You know, it's, you, you, you can only work with what you have and what you're looking at. It's just hard to, we've seen so many sunsets before. It's, it's tough to get something, you know, that takes it to another level. Yeah, really making it unique. Yeah. You know, I, I am a fan of water that is not white because of slow shutter speed. I like this capture here very much. Yeah. No, don't think I wasn't liking your water. I'm just saying this I like. This is nicely done. And it's already been said, but I'm going to say it again. The, the capture in the water of the yellow is just great. I, I mean, actually, actually exhilarating, isn't it? Yes, very much so. Yeah, it's, it's, it's nicely done. I'm, I'm going to by the tempo of the room, so I'm going to speed things up a little bit here. I hope you don't mind. Go for it. No, no, let's speed it. It's, if anybody, I want you to be vocal. If anybody feels I've picked up the pace a little too much, let me know. No, we want time for, to hear Don. So let's make sure right. we get that in. So we've got a solid eight and we're on to the next photo. Tracks from the train. And I'm gonna measure the room by your silence and that's when I will move on. There's a lot going on in this picture. Um, I personally uh, like that little house, like the, the road leads you to that little house right there. And that's what I think makes this really unique. The flat sky, I don't care for too much, but other than that. I'd like to see more contrast. Yeah. Yeah. Contrast yeah. Contrast. How about the colors this time? Yeah, making in color this time? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, um, well, that's I probably could talk a lot more about it, but I, I just, the focus was good, not like focusing good. right at the front. And it, instead, the focus is right there in the center and it just brings you around and I really like this is from a train I think they're moving I like the motion that I see here yeah like the motion in the foreground and I don't see any motion in the background kudos to the artist it seems pretty good to me mm -hmm. Okay, I'm gonna end the polling. At a solid seven. Seven for that photo. I'm ready for the next one, Elaine. Balls are fun. Oh, it's <laughs> fun. <laughs> it's fun. It is fun. It's a lot of Make fun. Make me smile. I like that. <laughs> I don't know. I feel just happiness when I see this. I, I feel like that's the mom and she's taking a picture of her little girl and her little girl's into it and dad's doing what they usually do, something else. <laughs> and, are, you, are, um, you, are, you, are you saying nothing? What I really, 
what I really like here is this diagonal line shadow or whatever it is pointing right, right to yeah. her. It, it gives it depth. I was going to say the same thing, Jay. It, it makes it uh, did you uh, notice, almost. Yeah, and did you notice this leading line on the bottom here coming to her feet? It's like the, yeah. perfect, the perfect center spot right here. Mm -hmm. And this Bozo, what the hell is he doing on his cell phone? He's with, he's Check on the dad. Floor. He is the dad. He probably just took a picture and he put that. What do you got? Oh, good. <laughs> oh, you're, oh, you're being kind. Yeah. <laughs> I would be. I, I like the, the framing. It's very good framing. Yeah. Thank you. Wait, are you saying you're supposed to pay attention when you're out with your kids and stuff? Or? Yeah, kind of. <laughs> kind of. <laughs> kinda. <laughs> well, maybe he's working. Who knows? That's right. Somebody's got to bring food to the table. Mm-hmm. Mm. I have a six here. In the next photo. Now we're getting into macro, apparently. The next photo is 28506171. Two in parentheses. Okay, so I have a photo here. Yeah, okay. I have a photo here without truly a title. It's 8506171. That's either a phone number of a girlfriend or, I mean, I'm not really sure. So, so people, um, when you submit a photo and there's no title or the title is as such, I copy it down exactly. Uh, if you want your photo shown with the title, please pay more attention to that. I need it in the subject line of the email. I need the actual file name to be renamed. Uh, they get sorted. I shouldn't tell any of you this. They get sorted alphabetically. So next, so next, the, the next meeting, everybody's going to be a biker, a dancing bear, a be a day -day. Yeah. Okay. Uh, point is, I'll be a a a. Point is, the other club that I was at, the other clubs that I go to, a very interesting point is that the title lends itself to the artist's interpretation of what they're sharing. So the title has a lot of weight when it comes to scoring a photograph. Oh. Either you miss the mark or you make the mark. Don, is that true in your in your experience when a photograph is given a name? Uh, well, I think it, yeah, it does uh, evoke some kind of uh, feeling of, you know, uh, of what the artist was thinking. Now, for me, I'll give you a secret of how I title my pieces, I look at it and I use song titles. What song oh. does that mean to me? That's and I title it as a song title. All right, now, actual I, song titles. Yes, actual song titles. Can I say not a movie? I'm I'm saying, not a movie, not a movie, but a song. How does, what does that image evoke to the blob? Here. Yeah, there you go. No. So minute. I'm just giving you, if you can't figure out your titles, that's one way to evoke a title. Silence, can I, can I... Everybody. Silence everybody. One second. I've done an injustice to the photographer by not allowing you to praise the photo a little bit. And I need you to do that before the artist comes forward and talks about his photo. So I let's, think it's a great let's photo. Do... I, I, I'm intrigued by it. I'm intrigued. I think it's great. And I think you should mention that apparently these all these next pictures are going to be no, macro. You're absolutely wrong. So please I'm let's wrong? not do that. Yeah, you're absolutely wrong. Macros don't show up till 29. Oh, mm -hmm. these are all number two. I thought you're no, 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 this no. is the macro. Jay, I, I this I'm the culprit, and it's the for the macro photos. That's a macro. Those mine. Which I won't do again. But I mean, I won't not name it again. But I, this is the, for okay. the macro Eric, assignment. Eric. Eric, let me give you let me give you the benefit here. The challenge, which wasn't explained as clearly as I could have, was called "What is it?" Yeah. So this photo, because it didn't have "What is it?" in its name, I didn't know what it was. Can we guess at what this is, or do you just want to tell us? It's sort of a meta explanation, but I understand. What is it? Got to guess. It's, that it's a, a, a close up of a rock. Actually, this rock. Wow. Wow. Oh, wow. 
Uh, Very interesting. I am going to relaunch the polling on this to give it a fair, a fair score. That it is a what is it competition photo submission, and it had me boggled. I would have never guessed rock. So based on that, let's give it a score. And I will share that score. Whoa, you didn't give us much time. Sorry, should I do it again? No, I got it. Just try it in the nick of time. And we'll call it an eight. An we eight. Have a tie. We have a tie for seven and eight. We call it an eight. And I'm gonna to go to the next photo. And Helene, please strike, strike what Helene mentioned because not all of the photos that we're going to see now until I tell you are what is it, okay? The next photo, clear, clear your mind. The next photo is Elaine. I'm, I, my mind is fuzzy right now. I, camping coffee. Camping coffee. Oh, nice. A nice, a nice moment. Moody, nice. Let's have another cup of coffee. You ban. I'd like to know where the decaffeinated on a campground. For goodness sake! <laughs> no, no, no. I know it's in. A, it's like could have been shot anywhere in the world. I thought that was ah. a teapot. Uh, yeah, kind of. I thought I wanted to crochet a little cozy for it. <laughs> um, well, I'm wondering what's underneath the teapots. Is that are those hot coals? Looks like it. That's what's drawing me in. Is like, I want to know what that is. You know, so like I'm leaning forward. Cool. So hot. I have it on three monitors. It's different colors. And it, um, I don't, okay. It's a fun picture. I like the moment. I like the feeling it gives like me. Blue. Yeah. Like I, I need my jammies and slippers and I want to go home. That's the feeling I get from it. I, I That's from a non camper. Okay, I'm a non-camper, just saying. My idea of camping for the raccoon. Is, yeah, my idea of camping is to help me. Yeah. <laughs> That's what my husband says. <laughs> I picked a seven on this. I'm stopping the share. I'm moving forward to the next photo, which is colors of the Chinese garden. Oh. It has a certain infrared look about it. Yeah. Same place, I know where this is. I've stood here and never got a picture like this. Yeah, this has- Well, now you can go back and try to do it and make your own picture. I sure can. Right? I sure can. So today's um, share was all about uh, samples for infrared. So my sharing the two photos, I wanted to show the difference between a, a black and white converted infrared. And this one is infrared with false colors. Now it's not for everybody. I understand that, but I just wanted to show the difference. Yeah. I appreciate it. It's really pretty. I love what infrared does to tree leaves. It's just amazing. Yeah. And I think we're speechless. So let's go straight to the polling. Yeah, I was there with you, Noel, wasn't I? And I didn't, I didn't see your perspective on this. This is beautifully done. Is this Japanese garden? Yes, yes, ma'am. Okay. Japanese garden or hunting? Oh, uh, sorry, Chinese garden. Chinese garden. The That's renovated. The hunting thing. tin, yes. The hunting yeah. tin. Oh, so I wasn't there. So I'm not crazy. Oh. Uh, there's a reason I didn't see this. <laughs> Oh, Jay, Jay, you are crazy. You're, Jay, you were there in spirit. For sure. 
The I true lost, sign of an artist. I lost five people to my Zoom meeting. I, that doesn't make me happy. On these um, infrared pictures, is it an infrared filter or was the sensor modified to shoot infrared only? So did everybody see this receive an A? Yeah. Um, no, no, I, I don't have a modified camera. I, I use a, a Hoya R72 infrared filter. I, I'm doing it often enough that I really should have, but I also have been shooting infrared film. So anyway. Our next photo is? Mammoth Lake. Nice. It looks kind of dead to me. Maybe it's the dead wood that's in the water. I don't know if you're funny or, or, or critique. I'm being funny. <laughs> but I do ha have a feeling of kind of gloominess. Yeah. It kind of so reminds me of Salvador Dali. Ah, yes. Okay, I can see that. Usual shapes. I think I would just crop this down so you don't see the sky at all. That to yeah. me is very distracting, but I think it would be an awesome shot just to bring it down oh, maybe about an eighth of an inch or so, and then you wouldn't be right in the middle either. Eighth of an inch? Are you serious? Well, I, I an eighth. From, from what I'm looking at on my screen, that's all I can say. It's really cool. Just cropping the top down. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Yeah, about like that much. If I read you right, you said this. Yep. Yeah, I would do away with that sky. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah. And I have oh, to say, changed. Yeah, and also um, on the right side, uh, the pictures are covering it. So I, I want you to know it was a really nice crop. I don't think we need to see so much of that tree on the right because what's really important are these things in the water here and how they are perceived. But it also kind of framed the picture. Yeah, it's a nice frame in the reflection, too. I really like that. I don't think I'd lose that. The right tree is a frame. Yeah, mm -hmm. I like it. Specifically, the frame of the picture. The right and the trees on the left make its frame. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, uh, that's you know, true. I agree, I agree. I'm noticing that I'm tilting my head a little bit to view it. That doesn't, that's not a criticism. Mm -hmm. Was that's that during fires, Leonid? Leonid, was that during the fires up there? Yeah. Yeah, it was a really, really fire, really, really. The color was absolutely incredible. It was yeah. like uh, four o'clock in the evening. Just received an A. Great shot. When I give the score, I give it to Helene. I don't mean to interrupt your conversation. I just need to get that documented so I can document it for the uh, newsletter. Next that's picture. An eight. That's an eight. Next picture, step right. Step right. Mm. Oh, wow. Just like a mirror is there. Well, it looks like my backyard. <laughs> <laughs> This is an indoor swimming is, is pool. He, is, he, is that your backyard? Is this Hearst Castle? Hearst Castle, that's what I mean. Yeah. yeah. I'm so impressed that people recognize the where. I'm, <laughs> I'm not very well traveled. Wait, where was this? Hearst Castle. Hearst Castle. Oh. I would have, uh, I don't know, I would have moved uh, a few feet to the right to get a square shot. Kind of like it this way offset. A square thing shot is that, that well, um, you're, you're really window. confined to your space there. I don't know if they could have moved over anymore. Is he? Are you there? I guess is he's he? not there. I wonder why he's not here.
I did I did lose a couple participants, and I I I I take it so seriously that. Don't take it personal. I lost. Yeah, don't. I might have something. Yeah. I lost, I lost yeah. five. One texted me that they lost the internet connection, and I know what that's about. I was without internet, people. I was without internet for five and a half hours today. I had to go to the Spectrum store. I was a total of three hours on the phone with tech support. I'm lucky I'm able to do this from home. My contingency wow. plans to go to Valley Cultural Foundation's offices and broadcast from there. Wow. Yeah. Thank you. Well, thank you for doing that. Brand new internet here at home and it's working and I'm so pleased everybody's here. I'm gonna end the polling, I'm gonna share the results. And I've received an eight. Not hmm. bad for someone that didn't step to the right. <laughs> <laughs> Not bad at all. Very pleasant picture. We're going to go to the next one, which is going to be the last, which is going to be the last of our submissions. And then we're going to what is it? And what is it is going to be seven photographs. And I think I may break it up by allowing Don to present right after this photo. Okay, Don? Sure. This has to be, this has to be Don's photo with Strawberry Fields Forever. Yeah. <laughs> Strong title. Yeah, see, there you go. <laughs> Don, That's right. Don did not submit, and I'm not sure why. So let, let's get next time. Let's shake <laughs> that. It's been extremely busy. Let's shake that so that the artist gets a fair evaluation when we come to scoring. Mm -hmm. Great windy clouds. Yeah, and I, you know what? I like that it went black and white. Yeah, yeah I just uh, Yeah, that's a black and black white. And goes back to your using your imagination. You can yeah. put whatever colors you want in there. You can imagine a sunset in all colors. You can imagine the plants, whatever colors. And I like the way this straight line becomes diagonal leading lines coming in from, it's just odd to me. It's really and awesome, they're awesome. They're beautifully done here. This is a really good either lens distortion or perfect selection of location for the photographer because this goes straight to the mountains this goes on an angle. This goes even on more of an angle. I, I don't know how this is done. This is beautiful. Well, there's some great photographer. That's all. Yeah. Well, there's some definite, you know, some filtration or retouching going on down those centers. I was going to just to make it more interesting. I, I like the depth of field is sort of sharp all over. Like, yes. Yeah. Yeah, a total forward lens and it still has dimension. I'm, I'm impressed by that. It looks like there's motion in the- um, Clouds. No, uh, the, in the channels kind of, uh, except for the one in the middle. Well, even the one in the middle. Oh, looks yeah. like there's motion in there. Yeah, it does, it does. This is, this is, uh, this is earning its keep. Uh, it, it got an eight. Might be sprinklers. It got an eight, ah. but it was wanting a nine. And um, I'm pleased with this photo being entered. I, I'm really glad I got to see it. I'm really pleased I got to see it. I like this. Whimsical clouds. All right, and now I've got the chore of uh, stopping the screen share, putting off my what do you call it a little bit? And Don, you gave me quite a bio to read. So bear with me while I do that. I don't know if you're gonna need screen share. We didn't we didn't confer with one another beforehand. Are you gonna just talk from, from your seat or do you have something you need yeah, to share with? Yeah, there's no problem. Okay, so I want everybody to know that you have a view button in Zoom. And when Don comes on, you may find it more enjoyable to click the view button and click on speaker view. At this point in time, I'm going to introduce Don Weinstein. In 1980, Don Weinstein started Photo Impact to bring back the glamour of the old black and white look to Hollywood. For over 40 years, he has had a career as a photographer and owner of Photo Impact Custom Photo Photographic Lab. Sorry for flubbing that. 
During this time, he has had the opportunity to work with contemporary masters such as, and please forgive me on the pronunciation, Richard Abaddon, Helmut Newton, Annie Leibovitz, Herb Ritz, Greg Gorman, Herman Leonard, Douglas Kirkland, a whole bunch of Jews, and most of them dead. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Don, I had to do that. To name Please. Them, these clients came to Don to help realize their photographic vision. Hmm. In the last few years, film has made a comeback as new photographers find the beauty of film grain and the 3D dimension we create in our scans from the film. We are constantly working on international advertising. I'm speaking as Don now. International advertising campaigns, magazine work, and level of exciting photographic imagery. Don has also worked with many photographic companies to help improve the quality of their products. Kudos to you, Don. Thank you. Photo Impact was one of the couple of photo labs in the country to work with Kodak, testing black and white developers and new films before they were released to general public. In other words, before Noel got his hands on them. <laughs> he worked with foreign photographic companies, Oriental, Agfa, and Ilfer on specific film testing projects. Don has used his vast photographic knowledge to help his clients throughout his career. As an award-winning photographer himself, he realizes how the system works from both sides of the spectrum. And I am truly honored to say that Don is a friend of mine and here tonight to Thank share you. with us. Thank you, Don, it's all yours. And I'm gonna go into speaker view. So what I want, hey, you just heard, hi. So you just heard Jay just kind of give you a synopsis of 40 years. And I, my main thing is, is I like to open this up to questions so that I can answer anything you might have photographically or from a photo lab or how I would work with your images or papers or, or issues you're having with any of your photography or printing or whatever that is, because mm -hmm. that makes it more personal. I mean, you can go onto my website under photoimpactimaging.com and you can check that out or my website, donweinstein.com and see my photography. One thing about my photography is I, I have a whole series that I'm photographing of artists, painters and photographers, where I do double exposures of them. All of those images were done in the camera with film. There's no digital imaging going on in those. So I try to create the magic in the camera. And I usually shoot one roll of film and hopefully get one picture out of it. I don't shoot a lot of film. I looked I at all your pictures, um, Don, and I just sure. thought they were amazing. Oh, well, thank you. And even more so now that you told me that they're on film. I just can't yeah. imagine. I mean, did you roll the film back and then? No, in my camera, I use, okay, that's, see, that's a good question. Mm -hmm. I use a Bronica camera. A lot of people think that I use a Hasselblad because I use square, but it's a Bronica because that feels, that camera felt best in my hands. So when I was Hello, getting- Hello, Bronica a, user here. Hello, Bronica. Ah, very good. So you know what I'm talking about. You know, uh, people ask me, you know, what camera is best or what camera should I get? And I give them a standard answer that they sometimes don't want to hear. I say to them, whatever feels good in your hands, because you could pick up a Nikon or a Canon or a Leica or any one of those cameras, and they basically do all the same thing. They have all the same tricks and whistles on them. But which one do you, when you put it in your hands, do you feel comfortable with? And that's the camera that you should get. The other thing is, is that sometimes people uh, want, you know, just to want a $2,000 camera, but want to spend $400. <laughs> okay. You, you got to right. have a budget and you got to fit whatever that is in your budget. Now, I don't Can you, everybody see these pictures of mine? Yes. Okay, you'll see if you go back up a little bit, go back up to the top, you'll see I mainly shoot in black and white. 
But lately I have been shooting in color and I've been desaturating the color and I've been trying to incorporate the portraits in color and the background I'm double exposing in black and white. Does that make sense? Oh, yeah, it does. This yeah. is okay, so I'm trying, to keep, I'm trying to create the dimension of black and white and color. That's what I'm trying to do. Do, uh, you, the, do you shoot uh, film in color? Yes, it's all film. All of this is film. So how do and you in my mix? camera, I, I meant to how ask questions. I, I, I have a button on my, on my Bronica that if you click it down, it doesn't advance the film. Oh, so you shoot something okay. And, you get it, and it doesn't advance so I could shoot it again. Now, this picture here, all the way that the, the woman standing with the statues. Yes. See those? Those statues are about 12 inches high. <laughs> so I had to set wow. her in there and measure her out so she became the same size as these very small sculptures. So I try to bring some fun and a little wackiness to what I'm doing. Um, and you can go in there later and look up and see who these artists are. Uh, this guy down here, if you're coming down in the middle, he is a head and there's a cat on his shoulder. He, he's, he was from Belgium. He's, he's a award-winning young photographer. He had never shot film in his life. He only shot digital. And he did not comprehend that I was doing a double exposure of him into his, his photographs. Uh -huh. he, he didn't, he, I said, I will send it to you when I'm done. And you'll remember this moment and you'll see what I'm doing and he flipped out when he saw what th this picture of his cat walking on his shoulders. Yeah. Um, the shot below it, the shot below it where it's a grid, his face inside a grid. Yes. That, that was part of a series I did that was shown at the Louvre. Wow. Is that, it looks like a jail cell. It, well, that was his, his, his photographs were very dark and disturbing. And so I put him inside the grid. Oh. But I, but they, they featured a series of these portraits that were shown at the Louvre a few years ago. Oh. And that what was about one of the, the images. Sorry, Don, what about the picture all the way to the left of that one on the same uh, row with this, with the, looks like a watch face? Yeah, yeah. those, that was a, Th that's actually a very large um, sort of graphic painting that he did where he creates all kinds of um, sort of dark and mysterious stuff. It's actually, I think, almost like a, the vibe was more of a roulette wheel or something. You, it's hard to see. You can see there's different parts and different things. Yeah. Inside of these things. Very cool. And I just double exposed him into the middle of it. Oh, okay. Okay. The one right next to it is very interesting. Now, if you look at this, and this is a really good example, okay? If you look at the first top image, you see, you almost see him clearly, right? Yes. And then as it goes along, you see how it changes and becomes more of his art, right? Cool. That was me adjusting the exposure of not on him, but on the background where oh. the background double exposure is very underexposed. And as I got to the end, it's more overexposed. So that becomes the more important image. Does that make sense to everybody? Yes. Yeah. Yes. So has. he's the same exposure. Let's call it 125th at F8, right? And as mm -hmm. I change the exposure of the background to overcompensate, that's how I created this, by just changing oh, wow. the exposure oh. of his painting. Oh, wow. Now, Don, you'll yes. uh, excuse me for asking this of you, but did you realize that that was what you were going to get? Or were you yeah, just yeah. Spare? Uh, Okay. Yeah, I wanted, I wanted, okay, that's a really good question. 
um, I wasn't sure how much, which one of those images would make sense to what the final picture was. But I liked the idea of it, of doing this as a series anyway. Do you know what I mean? It was like, oh, why don't I try this? Why don't I just do these different exposures? And it could be interesting as a, as a, as a series. And that's how it sort of worked. What I did get lucky with is his eyes. I was able to get his eyes right in the middle of the, of yeah. his mask. Amazing, amazing. So again, going back to experimenting and being playful and having fun in the moment. All of my pictures when I've done these portraits have all been sort of fun moments that I have not gone into the shoot knowing what I was going to do. There was no premeditation to any of this. You just go in and you say, okay, let's see what happens. And that's sort of the fun of it all. Yeah, clearly you got some great results. Yeah, I, you know, it's, um, is there other questions about photography or any of those, you know, you know after you've seen that stuff, is there anything that's... Well, there's the old um, adage, it's, you know, not the camera, it's the photographer that brings the great picture. Um, I, you know, in the days of film, I always thought it was the photographer, but now the technology has found its way and I'm not, I'm not comfortable feeling that the pictures are natural when we manipulate them so much. And I wanna know how you feel about that. Well, I, I, don't have a, I don't have a problem with it, you know, to a certain extent, you know, you can, um, if taking out something or retouching or cropping or doing something, you know, helps you create that vision, I don't see a problem with it. You know what I mean? It just depends on, you know, what that end is. It, it, and it, each, each person has their own line to go to. Does that make sense? Yeah. Uh, this, this was something I put together where I went out, I had a show of my photographs. I also shoot besides portraits. I'm getting ready to do a book of ripped and torn wall art. And this guy, I was in a show with him, Jacques Velleglay is a French um, decollager. He goes in the streets and he rips posters off walls in the 40s and 50s and 60s and puts big pieces together in a studio in Paris. So he was in LA and I took him out in the streets and photographed him ripping and tearing and creating. <laughs> this is an interesting go back to that one for just a second this was an interesting picture he's a painter ed moses and ed when i went to photograph him at his gallery that he was having a show at he said i do not want any portraits shot of me none and i said good because i'm not going to take pictures of you i'm not taking portraits of you i'm going to create something else and he said good and when I was double exposing him, I took this picture and I realized how beautiful it was. So I pretended like I double exposed it, which I didn't because I wanted at least one portrait. So this is one shot. And I just kind of liked the way he looked in there. He's like 85 years old in this picture. I just thought how beautiful he looked. Yeah. Um, this is a funny picture of Philip Keel. Uh, he's also a photographer. And he said to me, I can't use this picture because you made me look too good. <laughs> I, I said, wait, wait, what? He goes, well, I'm Swiss. And in Switzerland, you don't, you don't want to look too handsome and good. And I said, could you do me a favor? I'll darken it down, show it to your publisher. And, and they used it in his book as it has the book. I shoot a lot of uh, authors for their books. And he cool. ended up using this. Natural light. Um, hey Don, I have a question. Yes. Um, I'm on your site and I'm looking at your black and white hand fiber prints. Yeah. Um, I have uh, I have uh, uh, a fair amount of photos that I shot on an X pen in, in Panorama. Yes. But I always had them done digitally printed because 
you know, I, I've never tried uh, doing a, like a handprint, you know, a tray printed uh, yes. image. So I, I'm curious, do you, are you able to do custom sizes or panoramic Yes, sizes? absolutely. Yeah, we do it all the time. So yeah, it's worth trying to do a print and seeing what it looks like because there's something beautiful about a silver gelatin print. Yeah, I'm, oh, absolutely. I just never have done it on a panorama. Yeah, you're welcome to bring the neg in, send me the neg in. And, uh, you know, because we're custom and very hands-on, you know, it's, it's, it's not a problem. Thank you. Yeah, these are just Don, New York. Don, yes. I, I own the show. I'm giving you six minutes more. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> Whatever, I'm just... I would like whatever, whatever you need. I want to just try. It's good to talk about some of these so people could see and go back to them mm -hmm. and see how I've created some portraits and hopefully uh, get an idea of how I frame things and how I approach things. And, you know, you're moving closer, you're moving far away. Or uh, I, I do want to say one thing about when it comes to portraiture um, and, and people say, well, I don't really do that. I say, use your family. Use your family as guinea pigs. Shoot your brothers and sisters and wives and husbands and friends and use them as, as subjects because it works in two ways. You get to experiment and you also kept, get to capture time. Mm -hmm. So please use your relatives and do some fun stuff with them because it, it, it has a double meaning. You will be hearing from them, Don. <laughs> Well, you better be careful what you're doing. Um, <laughs> if people have, if people have hey, Don, uh, questions about my lab, you know, photo impact, printing, or processing, or using film. Yeah, I'm going to go right to where everybody's thinking and are afraid to ask. What? Is it expensive? I mean, you um, have to make a living. You need I looked at right. the rates, and I thought it was we're, reasonable. Right. It's reasonable for what we do mm -hmm. because we don't nickel and dime people. We're a private, more of a private lab. We take the time to really help people get the most out of their images and prints. So, you know, our, the work we do, you know, I, again, going back to what Jay was reading off the uh, bio, you know, we do a lot of high end processing a film mainly color it's a color world out there maybe five percent black and white 95 percent color and we create why people say well why didn't they shoot why did they shoot film why not you know why not digital because when we when clients see the film difference of our developing the scanning it becomes three-dimensional did you when i I'm sorry. I just see this picture of Lewis Schulman. I didn't know if you knew him or not. Oh yeah, I did all of his printing. His um um. Uh, so you know Julia Schulman's work? Yeah, my brother-in-law is David Cressy Jr. And his uh -huh. father was David Cressy, friends with uh, Julia Schulman, and yeah. he had shot all of the Cressy's pottery and work. And after he passed right. away, there was a big, um, big thing at uh, the museum with all the uh, street lamps in front of it. Right. But when I saw your list in the beginning, I thought, oh, no, Julius Schumann. How could that be? But this yeah, is well, I did. Yeah, I, for years, I did all of his black and white printing, all of his old negs from the 20s, 30s, 40s. Oh, and my one God. thing I would ask, I would ask Julius, what would you like it to look like? And he said, Don, you'll do a better job than I can ever tell you what to do. Just do what you wow, do. That's great. Life. Like free license. <laughs> well, yeah. well you know, some, somebody asked about price and I'm just going to say that if you're worried about price, it's like the difference between going to Costco and going to Don, you know, Costco, right. the guy takes your role <laughs> and, no, I'm serious. I, I, I've used Don. I can tell you from personal. It's like buying a car at Keys or getting it from Carvana out of a vending machine. I mean, <laughs> well, Izzy, someone once said there were someone complained to a photographer 
a while ago about my prices. And they said, you're going to eat lobster, not a Big Mac. <laughs> exactly. You know, I, I, I appreciate, but I was the one who mentioned something about price and I just want it understood that I wasn't talking about Costco or Big Macs or any of that. No, 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 I understand. I was just to the benefit of my membership, allowing these people to know that they are honored to have a relationship with you, Don, because when they mention uh -huh. PPC, I mean, there's 55, 60 people in the group. When they mention PPC, you already treat everybody with kick gloves. I know that. I know, I know what Absolutely. kind of you are. But I also know that you're going to give just a tiny bit more to this membership here. Absolutely. They have a friend in you. And that's what I was trying to stress. Right. They have a friend right. in you. And that's that's right. so important. That's value that that I have no words. I'm just beating on my chest. Right. I love you, yeah. Doc. I like right. what you do. I know you a long time. I never knew what right. you know. You know what I mean? Uh, I wish right. I talk and, more and about any, it. We're, we're going to sing Jay, Kumbaya now, if anybody, Jay. Anybody, <laughs> right. If anybody wants to email me, you know, with questions or issues or anything, don't hesitate. That's my point. Take advantage of Don's friendship. He's a good man with a good heart. And he runs, runs a business that is right down our alley. He can help yeah. us. And, and he Don, needs to make a living too. So Don, let's keep it. Let's keep it local. Don, okay. I noticed that yes. you um, did photojournalism for some time. I did. And um, uh, I uh, didn't start with that because I started with film back in uh, nineteen. I'm not going to talk about it, but. Um, adjusting from shooting journalism to just shooting a picture is that was that hard in the beginning to make that change or was it easier no no I, I just used I used everything I learned in photojournalism to be able to approach people and to shoot fairly quickly because in photojournalism you need to shoot quick you don't have a lot of time so right. you utilize that great that great you know learning skills in, in all the photography I do. Thank you. You're welcome. And I saw you all right, Jay, back to you. college too. You did. There you go. Pierce College. I, I did. I'm there with I was, you also. <laughs> I was the photo editor of the paper. Were you the really? The Roundup News? Yes. Oh my That's God. Right. I was, what's, a pa what's a paper? I was photo editor too. <laughs> yeah, right. There you go, Izzy. <laughs> Well, thank you. Don, Don, I'm speechless here. You really brought it to the to the table. Thank you. Right. Thank Mine is very comfortable soon. Thank uh, you for your friendship. Time. Thank you for your sponsorship. And I, I, hope our, you. I hope our membership is good to you because you deserve it, ma'am. All right, thank and you. I'm there for everybody. And just so everybody thank knows, you. he did not pay me to say um, any of this. That's not true. No, 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 it's true. It might be the double black. I think mine is actually. It's, it's not him. It's the double black. Okay, he paid me. Truth has got to be coming out right now. That's right. So what he paid me. Thank you, Don. Love you, man. You're welcome. Please stay for the rest of this. This is going to. I will. Uh, the inspiration, the true inspiration, is my dear friend Joy who brought to us, Joy, are you there? Can you just say hello? Press space bar. Hello, hello, hello. Hi, Joy. I Hi, everybody, I'm love, here, I'm here. I love Joy's support. She's great photo walk buddy when we go jaywalking. Mm -hmm. uh, she's, she's always got a smile on her face. I can see it through the mask that we're wearing. I'm pleased to have to call her a friend. And what I'd like to do is share with you a photo that she shared last month and we were stumped. We didn't know what it was. And I'll let her tell you what it is. But before that, I want you to know that she was the inspiration for today's special project, What Is It? And I have three, six, eight entries that we're gonna look at that are What Is It? Bill, Helene, you are not going to read what they are, okay? Not necessary. We're going to play a little guessing game. We're going to go through it quickly. We're not going to rate these with a score. We're just going to have fun with it. And thank you for the people who have participated by 
by submitting those photos. Joy, tell us what this is. Wait, can we guess first before she tells us? Sure, sure, sure. <laughs> we, we had an opportunity to guess last month, but yeah, let's guess. I think it's a spoon. Okay. I think it's, oh. a, I think it's a handle of a car. Okay. Some yeah. kind of a croquet needle tip. Okay. Joy, isn't this funny? <laughs> you cruel <laughs> day. Bro. <laughs> Somebody it's, else guess. Kitchen wrong. cabinet handle. Joy, they're so far off. <laughs> you know the answer is that fast. My wife tells me it's, I'm it's the pith of a Viking helmet. <laughs> <laughs> Warm. Izzy, I think you got it. There you go. Okay, Joy, spill it. All right, hold on. Okay, it's actually the end piece of a corkscrew. Ah. Oh, man. Excellent, excellent. And our next question. Jay, I don't hear anything. There's nothing to hear. They're not oh, guessing. Okay. <laughs> they're not guessing. I don't know why they're not guessing. Because uh, uh, we're stumped. Is this a car? Maybe the emblem on a car? Wow. What I just noticed, Bill, Helene, pay no attention to your spreadsheet because it's wrong. This is Nora's entry, not Rich's entry. And I sure hope I have Rich's entry. But that's our next entry. So Nora, don't tell anybody. Let's see if they can guess. I think it's a speaker. That's what I was thinking. It looks like a speaker. Uh, vacuum cleaner. Nora, oh. use your discretion when you're going to tell them. Okay. It's uh, I, I have a Toyota. Mm. Uh -huh. You have a what? A Toyota. Your dashboard? No. <laughs> steering it's wheel. It's a macro. It's a macro. Steering wheel. Okay. Are you giving up? Yeah. Logo. Yes, it's a logo. Yes, excellent. Is that Joy? No, that was Susie. Joy. Susie. Okay. Congratulations. Wait, but where is the logo? I missed it. What was it? It's the logo on a Toyota. Oh. Logo? Okay. On the outside right. of the car. Oh, fantastic. Right, Nora. Outside. Sure. Rich, Rich, I screwed up on my spreadsheet. Is this you? That's me. Okay. I'm stumped. He didn't tell me what it was in the title. I hated him for it. I'm stumped. It looks like the Mojave Desert. Okay. Um, it looks Venetian like... Venetian blind. What? Venetian blind. It looks like um, uh, wood, round pieces of wood like you used in martial arts. And nunchucks? nunchucks? Not nunchucks. They uh, yeah. they they just use wood for practicing, and they're round like this, and instead of you hit people with it. I'm going oh. to flip it. <laughs> no, when you first look at it, it looks like the moon. <laughs> I'm stumped. I'm absolutely stumped. Nora was closer. They actually are yeah. blinds. Um, ah. ah. Wow. Yeah. Not, wow. yeah, there's shutters actually, I guess we could call them. All right, all right. Yeah. Very nice. Oh, this oh, is can you make it time. bigger? Oh. oh. Hmm. Susie, are you here to help us? This is a candy bar. Yeah, Reese's peanut butter <laughs> cup. Half eaten. <laughs> oh, Reese's peanut butter cup, how interesting. I'm puzzled by this right here. Yes. 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 It looks like a broken glass. It's like a piece of paper, plastic paper left on it. That looks like brittle from a peanut brittle. Uh, mm, uh, yummy. You make me hungry. Up, and that thing is part of a wing. Oh. Oh, wow. Oh. So that would be a, a bee. I don't know if I'm right. You might be onto something. Yes. Beeswax? Susie, what the hell is it? It's a bee. <laughs> it's a bee. All right. Oh, yeah. Oh. 
Okay. Green job. <laughs> the specs wow. on the bottom is pollen. Wow, oh, nice. I mean, I mean, gosh darn annotate mode, and I can't come out of it. <laughs> clear all the drawings. Let me try again. Oh, what oh. the heck? Yes, Cap. A, oh. a ratchet wrench. What the heck? Oh, a yes. Public, public a ratchet wish. Flushing uh, button. Public toilet flushing button. Chrome. It's chrome. It looks like it's chrome. Yes, it does look like a sewing machine. It's chrome. It's some kind of some kind of joint joint on a on a mechanical thing. What the hell is it? <laughs> it's got a weird shape right here. Do you see that? It's got a really weird shape in this in this area right here. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's strange to me. Why is it why does it look like that? Why, uh, why because is it that's the way she captured it. No, it's <laughs> it's uh... <laughs> I give up. I don't know what it is. Drinking and fountain. There. And I was there oh, when she got it. That. Drinking, Drinking fountain. fountain. It is. Oh, okay. Drinking fountain. It's the button you push. Oh, beautiful. Out of a gun. Oh, we have a winner. Yeah. We have a winner. Cool. We have a winner. Oh, my goodness. Woo. What the hell is this? Which picture was <laughs> the final one? Whose picture was that? The one before was. Yeah. Uh, it's a macro. It's it's what is it? Macro. Um, Wait a minute, it's from cool. Helene. It's okay. Thank out. you. Okay. Okay. This is inside a dishwasher to drain your plates. Oh. I don't know. I'm just saying. No, <laughs> I, I I don't I don't know. I thought it was springs inside an old bed. Yeah. That's, what That's like. exactly what it is. Okay. My friend tore the whole bed apart. She likes to recycle stuff, and I, it was natural light gave it those shadows. Yeah. Linda, Linda, I really love this picture, Linda. Yeah, it is really cool. Oh. Yeah, and I'm really smart. Woo! Bird of paradise. Oh, bird of paradise. Bird of paradise. Bird of paradise. How about that? Okay, from I can't guess this because it's a corkscrew kind of thing to. <laughs> I know exactly what it is in a second. Okay, Joy. <laughs> oh, I I it's, a the bird right of, it's a bird of paradise. <laughs> it's a pair of dice. <laughs> oh, no, bird of paradise. Okay, it's a you bird got it. Of I'm just saying. What the hell is this? Even with the name, pretty cagey, I don't know what it is. It's steps. Wet it's steps. steps. Yeah, this, this, is steps. Steps. this reminds me of Israel. Jerusalem, <laughs> some kind of cave, some kind of cave, some kind of staircase. Um, actually, Helene was here when I, with me, when I took this picture. Really? Yeah, yeah. there you go. You were more attracted to the uh, lion and lioness when I took this picture. Oh, so was oh, that sure. Anybody, anybody want to know what it is? It's, you, no. just said, you just said it was pretty cagey. It's a cage, but what kind of cage? Okay, well, this is one of the animal cages. And if you noticed at the zoo, there's ponds of water. And this is one of the methods they use to fill, refill the pools of water. It comes from an area on the top and it comes down. They're like steps and into the water and refills the water system. Well, I took a picture of something that looked like that in Delphi, the island of. No, oh, really? It's not an island. Yeah, it was uh, ancient uh, water. Um, you know, the water went down it. Right. But it wasn't more like steps. It was more like a chute that kind of turned into steps. Because it's here, it's really old. But here. that was my first thought. But I. And that would have been almost right on. This is, yeah. this is when we went to LA Zoo together. Ages ago? <clears throat> yeah. yeah. And now it's time for our last one, our last entry. Mm. Oh, that's a chain. These are chain. sausages. sausages. Yeah. Chain. What kind of chain? Uh, do you Rusty make chain. 
Yeah, big one. Rusted, yeah. Did you say? Did you say rusty chain? I did. Wait, who's the rust liker? We got a winner. I love rust. It's just transformation. I hope when I die, I rust instead of rust. <laughs> <laughs> and with this, we come to the end of a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful time with all my friends. I really, really loved this meeting tonight. It was so much fun. Thank we have you. homework for the next meeting, but the next meeting isn't until January 26, 2021. Oh my God, it's a really, really long time from now. We're not gonna have a meeting in December. And I'm sorry that we're not going to be able to meet, but I will have a newsletter and I will have Helene and Bill's recordings of the photos that won sevens, eights, and nines, and tens. So they will be in the newsletter. And with the editorial help of some of the members, I'm sure we'll have a feature packed newsletter. And with this, really, because of COVID times, please let me express myself a little bit. Even though it's time to say goodnight, please, please stay safe this Thanksgiving. At this traditional time of giving thanks, my thoughts go to the special people like you in sincere appreciation for your friendship and goodwill, your membership to this club. It means a lot to me. This year has been difficult for all of us. And with COVID-19 cases continuing to rise in the United States and throughout the world, I'm concerned very concerned for the well being of my family members, my friends, my clients. I'm getting emotional, damn it. And I'm certain you <laughs> are too. Please, please stay safe. Take the precautions. If not for yourself, do it for your family, do it for your friends, do it for the strangers that you come in contact with. It is scientifically documented that COVID 19 disproportionately affects the elderly. I'm elderly now. God damn it. <laughs> those with existing medical conditions and those that are immune compromised. Please stay safe. Do what you can to keep those around you safe too. What matters most right now is being safe and being around for the very next Thanksgiving and the Thanksgivings in our futures. Have a happy one. And thank, thank you. Thank you. Happy holidays, happy Thanksgiving, everybody. everybody. Happy holidays, everyone. Let's hear the gobble one more time. Happy Thanksgiving and happy nice holidays. Nice to meet you, John. Thanksgiving. Nice to meet you, everybody. Oh, you're very welcome. I'm here if you need me. Thanks, Thank John. You. Don't hesitate. Thank you, John. Thank you, John. Thank we'll keep in touch. Bye-bye. Bye. Happy holidays. Happy turkey day. Gobble, gobble. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Make the turkey go one last time. Oh, hey, Susie. Nice talking to you. Hi, Susie. She's muted. Oh, yeah, I forgot. <laughs> we couldn't hear you. Well, usually if I get to talk and I don't shut up, so I have to leave it muted. Oh, yeah, so somebody can mute me anytime. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm going to go now, everybody. Bye-bye. Have a good holiday. Bye. Thank you. You too, Susie. And